Welcome back. In this lesson, I want to show you a couple of CVs that were created using online CV generation tools. And I will make an argument that you should not use these. You will see some of the fancy features of these online templates and I'm going to show you exactly why they are absolutely useless. Now, they may look great from the point of view of a candidate because you have a beautiful CV. But in this lesson, let's examine it from the point of view of a professional recruiter. Now remember, a recruiter only has a few seconds to browse your CV. And a recruiter will know that the CV has been generated online. So here's the first template. I've seen this template of a CV quite a few times. I want to show you this because it is really annoying for recruiters. If you look at the header, a really dark header with some white text. This doesn't really look good. And also recruiters, they have to print the CV when they invite you for an interview. And this type of CV, it requires a lot of ink, isn't very printer friendly, but also it's space that the recruiter cannot write any notes on. Like just remember, during an interview, a recruiter takes notes. So please avoid this type of header. Apart from this, well, the work experience section, it's all right. A few too many formats for my taste, but it is still acceptable. When we scroll down, we see the education section. This is nice as well. Now let's move to the second page. This is the next thing which I wanted to show you. In the languages section, I would say that there are too many languages listed. If you are fluent in a couple of languages, then include it. But if you are just a beginner who only knows how to say hello and goodbye, then don't include it in your CV. Like in this example, we've got English, French, Turkish. Yep, this is a high level, but Italian and Spanish, I don't think it's necessary to include it. Next, we've got this whole section of uh, soft skills. I think this is really pointless. If you read through it, you do not learn anything really about the applicant. It looks fancy, but it is way too broad. It is so general that it means absolutely nothing. I mean, leadership, running presentations, decision making, communication skills, adaptability. It's so general, it means absolutely nothing. Software section, yeah, this is, this is okay. Now I'll show you the next template. This is an example of a CV generated in another language, but it's great for what I want to show you. This first section here, it's experience. And I would say in general, too many formats are being used. And even for this section heading, this is some sort of weird font, which is, I think it's in italics, doesn't look good, just looks fancy. And then over here, we've got a different format for the date, different format for the company, for the position. And then we've got the key responsibilities, which is underlined. And once again, this uh, CV format has converted bullet points into bulk paragraphs, which is just uh, very difficult to read. Then what I wanted to show you is this last part. This has to do with languages. So similarly to the previous example that I showed you, uh, English, advanced, this is okay. But then we've got uh, German here, French here, just basic level. This is pointless, it's just using up space. So I don't think this is a good feature at all. Now let's have a look at the third example. So this is probably our more fancy CV. It's clean and simple and it sort of looks nice. Maybe a little bit too much white space here, but everything seems aligned and there are not too many formats used, so this is good. This CV was written by someone who doesn't have years of experience. There is an education section and an experience section. Personally, I think work experience is more important and this column should be a little bit wider. Uh, but the reason I brought up this CV is that I wanted to show you the profile section. So this part here. Put simply, this is utterly useless. The words diligent, optimistic, hardworking, committed, passionate, they mean nothing. Everyone thinks that they are hardworking and committed. 
because this section is so broad, so general, it is a complete waste of space. It offers no specifics and it adds no value. It looks good, but it's pointless. It doesn't do anything. And I have noticed that a lot of online CV generation tools, they have these types of sections in them. So I wanted to show you them so that you could avoid them. Later on in this course, I am going to provide you with the templates that I use. But the principles that you learn in this course, they are very universal. What you take away from this course is that you can have basically your own CV template, whichever one you want. But as long as you follow the principles you learn in this course, you'll be able to format any CV and it will be able to impress recruiters and HR staff. Thank you for watching.